Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is October 1st, the first day of October. Uh, as you can see, it is clear blue skies. It's absolutely gorgeous out right now. They're talking the next four days are going to be absolutely sunshiny and nice. Today's high is going to be about 68. I'm going to show you we got a little shade on that panel there but the rest of these are kicking right now and these are kicking so i wanted to talk real quick today about solar needs now i'm in the northeast we're gonna we're gonna focus on the northeast okay uh we have 2520 watt system and so basically with adding we added 1020 watts on this year and we're gonna talk about needs of solar in the fall and winter time in the northeast now summertime i'm gonna tell you what cranking with the new system added on you know with a new string and more power we were cranking this year as far as power overall throughout the warmer weather in the longer days but now we're into fall we're having shorter days and we're having you know not as much power coming in okay so it basically you know and realistically when it comes to solar guys uh, with an off-grid system it really comes down to want and need how much power do you want? How much power do you need? Okay, uh, because I have two, need, two teenage kids, they like to have power. If it was just me, I probably wouldn't run the solar as much as I do now, because uh, I wouldn't need to. Because I don't really, you know, I, the, the need is not there for me. But they, obviously, they want to be able to be, get online and, and uh, surf the internet and play on their laptops and stuff like that. Okay. So what we're going to do first of all, I'm going to go inside here, and I'm going to show you. Now, over the last three days, uh, we had the one day we pulled in 1.6 kilowatt hours. We had a 2.0 kilowatt hour day, and yesterday we pulled in 2.1 kilowatt hours. So the production is down, okay? And I'm going to kick in here real quick, and I'm going to we're going to go over this real quick. Uh, right now the batteries are at 27.7, uh, 28.6 puts them in absorption mode. Uh, the, the batteries are charged at 91%. We've brought in 1.1 kilowatt hours on this one so far today, and we've brought in 0.9 on this one. It's only 1 o'clock in the afternoon, so actually today's going to be really, really good. Right now we're bringing in 736 watts on this system. We're bringing in 510 watts on this one. Now, why is this one higher? Okay, and we're going to go outside. I'm going to explain it to you a little bit right now. But this system has brought in more so far today. But right now, this system is bringing in more. Okay, and I'm going to I'm going to show you how that all works. But uh, so we have we have 12 uh, batteries all together. I I'm, I've run they're four, four, and four. So it's a 24 volt system, okay? We have uh, L16E, they're Trojans. They're really, really good batteries. They're about 120 pounds a piece, and they're designed for off grid. All right, so let's go back outside and I'll explain a little bit why the production is not as good this time of year as opposed to um, like summertime, okay? Now what's happening, and I may end up doing this here, I'm thinking that this is going to be definitely something I'm going to do. Okay, we got these two trees here, alright? So the sun was up fairly early, and the trajectory of the sun, let me get over here in the shade, and I'm going to kind of show you. You can see where the sun is catching the shade here a little bit now of these trees, okay? The sun is lower in the sky this time of year. Um, it will continue to get lower. The, the amount of sunshine that we get during the day is increased. It's getting dark by about 7 o'clock at night now as opposed to 9 o'clock in the summer. Okay, but uh, so your trajectory of your sun is lower. So earlier this morning, the, when the sun was coming up through, it was shaded by these trees right here. Okay, so we were not getting direct sunlight on these panels. So even when the sun kicked over here, it was hitting these panels over here pretty decent, and but these were still in the shade. So now that it was in that open area, it's catching these panels better. And I mean, these are getting power too, but because of the angle, it's catching these guys more. So that's why we're bringing in more power right now on these panels right here, okay? So you're, you're talking about a lot less sunshine during the day, 
a lower angle in the sky. Now obviously once the leaves all come off the trees, which you can see the color of the, of the trees is already changing up there. It's changing on these trees here already as well. We've already had a lot of leaves come down. But you're gonna have, you know, like I said, so we'll get more sunshine then once the leaves drop off. Right now is kind of a tough time because the sun is lower in the sky. And like I said, the day of the daylight, as far as how much sun we're getting during the day is less. And because of this, the uh, leaves are still on the trees, it, it's cutting down what we're bringing in that way as well. Okay, so like I said, I, I might end up taking out a couple of these trees here because that early sunshine is getting blocked by this. Now we just took out that other huge maple that was over here and I thought we were going to be good, but I'm thinking we're going to probably end up having to take down these two here as well because you can see they're really they're they're spread out on top here and they're in their you know that's going to block so if i the sun's coming through here like this if we have those out of here then i can have more sunshine hitting the panels this time of year now like i said in the summer in the spring and in the summer 2500 watts more than enough power okay well 2520 is what we have all together more than enough power we're cranking in this and we never use the generator at all now here's the thing if you have an off-grid system okay and you are you know living off-grid you have to you i don't care who you are and what anybody says you have to have your backup generator backup generators on those days you have super cloudy days we've had super cloudy days here the last couple of days and we had rain and stuff like that as well but again even on a really nice sunshiny day i don't think we'll pull in three kilowatt hours today to be honest with you uh, i think we'll be lucky if we get three kilowatt hours but it's because of the fact the sun is lower in the sky and now right now you can see that sun is there now the panels are still getting good sun at the moment because of the angle but as it travels over more it's going to get blocked by these trees now once the leaves come off then we're going to be fine again we'll end up picking up more power at that point but we have started to have to use like last night we ran the generator uh, i believe for about four hours last night okay right now we're running on completely running on solar batteries are in good shape right now like I said, I think they were 91 or 92 percent. Now, what do we run? And people have asked me that too, okay? The camper is hooked up. That's running all the time, okay? And with the camper, let me go in here and I'll show you real quick. We have a full-size normal refrigerator in the camper, okay? So we have that. That's running all the time. There's an inverter with the camper as well. That's always running. Uh, the internet box is in here. We never put that into the house. We could. It doesn't really matter. It works both ways. Now, some of you might recognize that picture. That was a picture that I had on the basement wall when we were living back in Greece, New York. And uh, so I would do my videos in the basement. And that picture was always on the back wall. So obviously I still have that picture. I love that picture. Um, my cousin painted that picture when he was a senior in high school. I think he's in his 40s now. <laughs> so I've had that picture a very long time. I really like that picture. And his artwork is just phenomenal now. What he can do is incredible. So we have the campers running at all times. Um, when the tutor comes over, Eddie does his studying with him in the camper. We have the gas line hooked up there so we can just turn the gas on and we can warm up the camper when it's cold weather. So now in the house, we also have a full-size refrigerator that we run in the house as well, okay? So these are always running. Um, now at night what we do, and I'm going to show you what we do at night, just uh at night we turn everything off I'll be uh, you know we never keep the power on at night because we're sleeping there's no reason to at this point okay so what we do we have these water bottles filled with water they're frozen okay so we take two of them one stays in the freezer because obviously we have some things in the freezer and here I wanted to show you guys this here people ask me do you have seeds do you have seeds I have seeds okay so I have a bunch of seeds. I keep them right in the freezer. So they're always right there. But so we take two of these, we put those in the fridge, 
and it keeps the fridge cool enough at night because nobody's opening and closing the door all the time at night um, with that. Okay, so now over here, and I'll show you this too, the way we have our system set up, like right now, this is a generator side, this is the solar side. So we have this pulled over, generator side is off, solar is on. When we get to a point where the batteries are under 24.5, we turn the solar off, flip that over, push that over, start the generator, come in, turn the generator on. And then we run the entire system on the generator. So it's you have to have that combination. It really makes a big difference as far as what your needs are. Now, ultimately, the ultimate goal is to make sure we have enough solar that we can run year-round and not have to use a generator at all unless in an extreme emergency, okay? With adding this solar on this year, it has definitely extended our season. We're able to run more uh, through the course of the day and stuff like that with the solar. But like I said, I will continue to add to my system. Uh, I'm going to change some things up here with this. Hopefully in the spring, it's going to get another revamp out here. We're going to add more solar in the spring and change our design of how we do it. I want to try to get something up that I can manually manipulate to turn so that we can get maximum sunshine. I really don't want to rely uh, on a... Um, a system that might break down if we can just do it manually come out here and just turn them a couple times a day I think that would be the best way to do it so in the spring again it'll be changed up once again these ones here will probably stay just like they are uh, I want to put in another one here and another one here but I want to have a little different design so that I can manipulate them that's going to be the only difference so basically where we have the three here I want to get up a little higher pull, have it so that I can turn it. Same thing with here, so that I can put six panels on that rack, six panels on that rack, you know, kind of go from there. Um, realistically, what I have to do with that is I can only really run like nine panels on the one charge controller, okay? And then I would run another nine on the other charge controller. So we'll have to figure out how we're going to work that all up but we'll worry about that once we get that high up in power so i can add three more panels onto this system so these six panels are on one system these four panels are on another system so if i add another thousand watts this next year i add two more panels on here um and i can add like i'll, I'll probably put like you know i'll put six on one and then add another another thing so we'll kind of work we'll figure all that out but uh It'll all work out, and we'll get it squared away. But like I said, winter time and in fall, the production is not as good. In, and I'm in the Northeast, guys. I'm in New York. So my power needs are totally different than, say, somebody that's in Florida and Arizona. You guys are going to get a lot more sunshine than we do. And so, you know, the needs are going to be different. You know, so, and, and like I said, I have two kids at home that really want to have power. So the system is going to, it's a work in progress. And, that, and that's the biggest thing I would say to anybody you know, it's not difficult, to be honest with you. You just have to learn it. You have to learn what works for you. One of the key things that I will say is go ahead and buy quality products up front, okay? Get your really good, you know, your, your midnight solar um, charge controllers. Um, there's different ones you can get. I have an Ames inverter. Really quality stuff, okay? I wish I had done that to start with. I bought cheaper stuff to start with. And you learn, realistically, you learn really, really fast. The better quality stuff is going to be more efficient, it's going to be more energy efficient, and it's going to give you a better output all overall. As you add to your solar system, you're tweaking it, basically. You're finding out what works and what doesn't work for you. So, but this time of year, we're not getting as much sunshine, the days are not as long, the sun is lower in the sky, so our production of solar is not going to be as great. So... Again, it's a work in progress. Basically, what we've done with adding the 1,020 watts this year, we've extended our season both obviously later here into the fall and earlier in the spring is what we've done. The ultimate goal is to be able to have enough solar that we can run year-round without any kind of issues whatsoever. 
So I wanted to share it with you um, just in case anybody had any questions. Like I said, um, you know, your battery bank is kind of important as well. What kind of batteries? If you're running a 12 volt system, a 24 volt system, or a 48 volt system, it really comes down to want and need, basically. We have a 24 volt system. We changed that out last year from a 12 volt system. Our first year here, we had a 12 volt system. We changed it out completely um, last spring, or the year before and uh, went to a 24 volt system. And like I said, this year, we added another 1,020 watts onto our system. So we started out with three. We started out with these three to begin with. Then we added three more the second year. And then this year, we added on um, the 1,020 watts. So like I said, it's just a work in progress. You find out what works, what doesn't. But I'm gonna tell you what, the jump from 1,500 watt system to a 2,520 watt system was huge as far as our production goes. And even what we're bringing in now, if we had just still had this system, we'd have 1.1 uh, kilowatt hours in on the day right now. You know, and that extra 0.9 that we had pulled in from this, but now this one is doing better now because of the time of day and the direct sunlight on them. So it's just like I said, you got to find out what works for you and kind of go from there. So I'm going to jump off of here from now. Oh, and I got to show you real quick too, because I got I'm going to have it get it covered up while I'm thinking about it. We got all the wood stacked yesterday, and so I just kind of wanted to show you what we got here. So it's four full rows and then a partial fifth row here. So with this wood here and all the wood we have over there, I think we're good wood-wise for the winter. So I'm really, really pleased. We'll probably have leftover. I'm, that's what I'm, my goal is. I'm, I would like to not use this at all and have this just sitting here. And if I use all of that, I don't even know if I'll use all of that, to be honest with you. But uh, it's there if we need it, and that's what it's all about. So anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off of here for now. And uh, it's Sunday, like I said. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. It's an absolutely beautiful day today. It's nice and cool. It's nice. And uh, so we're going to go from there. So I want to explain it, why we need more power in the fall and in the winter. Uh, we got plenty in the spring and summer. But uh, the thing is, is working your system so you can work it year round. Okay. So I hope that helps. I hope that answers some questions that anybody would have. And uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Prep and nurse went out for now.